it's me Shani and today I'm going to be showing you my trash. So this is all of my empties, all of the makeup products, skincare products, candles that I've used recently. I have a large assortment of things but yeah I'm excited to go through it. I like doing these videos because it's just kind of nice for me to reflect on things that I've tried, what did I repurchase, what did I not enjoy as much just to kind of know what's going in and out of my collection but yeah let's just get right into it here is my big box of product I have two right off the bat two elf skin daily moisturizers this is their holy hydration moisturizer I already have a backup going so I definitely enjoy this it is my favorite affordable moisturizer I do like other moisturizers but I feel like for the morning I usually will use this before I wear makeup or if I'm wearing makeup that day but yeah it looks like I went through two of them already have another one okay next I have a lip gloss this is the buxom dolly lip gloss and this is the full-on lip cream these are the ones that are tingly this is a lip gloss I really do enjoy I am not fully done with it but I figured I've had this little mini lip gloss for so long that I think it might be going bad I'm not sure but I decided it is basically used up so I am going to get it out of my collection this was kind of like a nice plummy pink shade I really enjoy this product I do have a full size of the white Russian shade so I don't think I would repurchase this one but I do like that it was a mini and I can't believe I kind of went through it I have two Honest Beauty makeup remover wipes. I try to use makeup remover towels for the most part, but when I need a wipe, I will use these ones. And so I went through two of these. I already have more of them. I have some Thrive Cosmetics products that I see. So I have the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in Brin, which is their black shade. This is my favorite mascara of all time. I absolutely love it. I do already have another one, but this is just really nice tubing formula. So if you want length, this is a good mascara to go with. I am wearing their volumizer mascara today, so that is a little bit different than this one. I think of the two, this is my favorite, so definitely already repurchased. I have their translucent matte filtered effects soft focus hd setting powder this is their loose powder i absolutely love this i did actually use this today um, i opened up a new one so i do have another one of this i do really love this powder it is one of my favorite loose powders and then i also have their sunproof three in one invisible priming sunscreen this is one of my favorite little uh spf products so I will wear this under makeup or even without makeup it's SPF 37 I do already have a backup of this one as well let's go through some candles because I have a million of them here this is the candy cane cupcake candle and I got this from my brother's girlfriend Brie and it is really nice I actually really enjoyed it this is the candle I liked to light while I was taking a bath, so it took me a while to uh, use it up, but it is really nice. This one is the Southern Porch Scents, and it's the Vanilla Pumpkin Pie. I can't even remember when I got this one, but it smelled really good. I really enjoyed it. Vanilla and the pumpkin, it smells amazing. I don't know if I needed if I need this one specifically, but I did enjoy using it. We have the Holiday Cookie Soy Candle. This one was a gift as well. And this one smelled really nice. I actually lit this in July because I used some of it during the Christmas time. And then I put it away for a while. And then I used it almost as like a Christmas in July moment as well. So really enjoyed this one. It's just a random candle I had. So I don't need to be repurchasing it. But it was nice and got me in the holiday spirit even if it wasn't the holidays. This was also a gift, and I don't even see the brand of it here, but it was kind of like a peppermint smell. Oh, wait, here it is. 
Soy wax gingerbread spice. Here is the card. And it was kind of like a local candle from my boyfriend's family that they gave it to me. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is one of my favorites. Can you tell I love candles? <laughs> I found another Honest Beauty makeup remover facial towel. This is their new packaging, I believe, and this is the old one. And either way, they're both the same gentle plant-based cloth for removing makeup, dirt, and oil. So enjoyed this. Some more Thrive Cosmetics products. I used up their Liquid Light Therapy All-in-One Serum. They actually have a new serum now, so I'm going to have to try that out. But I do really like this one. And then also they have the Bright Balance 3-in-1 Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser. They do still have this product. And they changed up the packaging a bit, but it's pretty much the same. So this, I already have a backup of this. I'll have to get eventually, but... Yeah, I love this cleanser. It is so good for removing waterproof makeup as well, which is awesome. So these are really cool skincare products that I used up. I have a random blush from Sugar. It is in the shade Peach Peak, and I did not use it up. It actually just went bad, I think. I've just had it for so long that I think it's time to get rid of it. It was from an old Ipsy bag a long time ago. So that is this guy. I don't know. I just feel like I've had it for so long and I'm trying to get rid of products I'm not using. But it was a good blush. I don't have anything against it necessarily. I have a random gross beauty blender. I don't even know the brand <laughs> if it's actually beauty blender or not. I have the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Balm Lip Treatment. This is an amazing product, and this is the original flavor, so it has no flavor, and I like when they have flavors instead, so I wouldn't repurchase this one specifically, but I do love this product. I have the ColourPop Lip Oil in Skinny Dip, and I can't believe I used this up. It was actually a really nice lip oil. It gave your lips a little bit of a color, but not much. It smells really nice as well. I think I would try this again if I was placing a ColourPop order, but I don't need to run out and buy it. It was very nice and hydrating on the lips though, so I did like that. I have a Tarte powder. This is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Pressed Finishing Powder. I actually really enjoyed this. It was translucent. And I really, it was in one of my recent favorites. I really enjoyed it. I have other powders now, but I do think I'll keep this in mind. Maybe in the future I would repurchase. This nail polish I think just went old. It is the Color Club Nail Lacquer. I don't even know the color of it, but it started kind of acting a little funky. I love the color of it, but gonna get rid of this one. We have the Thrive Cosmetics Defying Gravity Eye Lifting Cream. I did purchased this again. This is one of my favorite eye creams, so definitely love this one. Very nice and smoothing and hydrating, but also it has caffeine to kind of wake up the eye area as well. Then I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. This was not my favorite. I do like Glow Recipe products. I think they smell really nice, but I have other toners I like more, so this was kind of just a mini. And I feel like it was kind of a weird consistency, a little bit sticky or I don't know. It wasn't my favorite, so I don't think I'd purchase this again. We have an EOS Little Lip Balm, and this one is in Rainbow Sorbet. But look at it, I completely used it up. I cannot believe it. But I already have another one of these. My mom gets me these a lot, so I wouldn't really repurchase, but I get them in my life a lot, so I do enjoy them. We have a hairspray. This is the Tresemme Tres 2 Spray Extra Hold number four. I do really like this. I think I am kind of doing away with it. I have a hairspray from Eva NYC I think it's called so I don't think I would need this one for traveling I think I would purchase this again it is a good hairspray okay more candles we have the donut shop from DW home this is one of my favorites I got this at TJ Maxx 
it just smells so good. It smells like a donut shop. I have other candles, but I do really like this one. I think of all the TJ Maxx ones, this one's my favorite, but I don't necessarily need it in my life. We have this Beauty Bakery little powder. I really enjoyed this one, this is the flower setting powder. It is in their translucent shade. Um, I don't think I need this. It was nice while I had it. I do like these two powders more. I think for the loose powder, I would I would choose the Thrive Cosmetics over this one, but it was a nice powder. Look at me going through multiple powders. This I wanted to just get rid of. This is the Alba Botanical Acne Dot Invisible Treatment Gel, and I actually hated this. It was really bad and dried my skin out and it did not help so I just want to get rid of it. I don't think it's a good product. I have the Native Coconut and Vanilla Moisturizing Shampoo. I really like this. I did repurchase but I tried the peach scent instead and I'm really liking that one. So definitely I think I would repurchase this one or another scent but I love Native body care products. I have their body wash, their shampoo and conditioner, and their deodorant. So love this. We have a few more candles. We have the DW Home White Magnolia and Apple Little Mini Candle. This was nice, but I hardly smelled it. So I don't know. It was $4.99 at TJ Maxx. I don't think I'd repurchase it. Then we have a $3 candle from Target. It is a little heart and it's in the scent You're My Sweetheart. I got this for Valentine's Day, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's cute. I like the packaging of it and everything, but I don't know if I would repurchase. Like, it didn't really fill the room with smell at all, really, I would say. Neither did this one. We have some bath products. So I have this bath salt. This was a gift as well as this moisturizing oatmeal for the bath. I liked them. I don't know if I'd repurchase. I don't even know where I'd purchase them. This I would repurchase the Soothing Touch Lavender Salt Scrub. I thought this was really nice and so yeah, I think I'd maybe repurchase this, but I do have a different uh, scrub at the moment, but this was really, really nice of the bath products. That was one of my favorites. The same brand also has lip balm, and this is the Vanilla Rose, and I did go through this. I have another scent of this I did repurchase, but I got the lavender one. So yeah, I really enjoy this already repurchased. We have another bath thing. This is the little lavender one that you throw in the bath. That was really nice. And then the Honest Bubble Bath. This is their lavender shade as well. Can you tell I like lavender? This is really good bubble bath as well, but I don't think I need it. I have a different bubble bath that I'm trying out now. We have two different eyeliners. This is the Appeal Adhesive liquid liner and I don't think I liked this one. It was just skipping and drying out so I'm getting rid of that one. This one I used up completely, the Molly Evercolor Gel Waterproof Liner. It's just a black liner, a pencil one, and I used that up completely. I think I've had, I had this because of a boxy charm, so I don't need it or anything. I wouldn't repurchase, but it was nice. I have another Thrive Cosmetics Sunproof primer love it and then another liquid balm lip treatment but in the pumpkin spice latte flavor i would repurchase this it comes out in the fall time usually and it's so so good i have some lip products if you watch my lipstick video you would see that i am decluttering some old lipsticks but we have the bite beauty eye lipstick i think these are expired so i'm just getting rid of them this is Urban Decay Back Talk. I used to love this one, but it is just expired. Then this random one from Ipsy. This NARS one in the shade Anna. And then this Sorry Not Sorry Real Her Rose Pink. We have a Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter Little Lip Balm. I don't really like these products. I just kind of had it in my collection. I wouldn't repurchase. The We have the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. This was somewhat nice. It's a little mini. I don't think it's one of my favorites. I wouldn't repurchase it. 
We have the Anastasia Foundation Stick in the shade Fawn. I used to use this as a contour color, but because it's a cream product, I'm throwing it out because I think it is expired. So it's a good product though. I do enjoy that for contour. And then we just have a few more products. I have the iLift 360 Waterproof eye primer from Thrive Cosmetics. I already have a backup. I love this product. And then the NYX Glitter Primer I actually like as well. This just went completely bad and broke on me. So I would repurchase this so it is a good drugstore primer. Lastly, I have two perfumes. They are from Ariana Grande. So we have Sweet Like Candy here. And this one I have the full size of. I got all of these mini Ariana Grande perfumes just to kind of try them all out and see which one I like the best. I already have this in a full size, but it actually is really nice and sugary smelling, but I determined that I liked this one better. So this is the REM, I believe. Something just more sophisticated about this one, not as sugary, and I really like it. So I went through both of them but I enjoy this one better so yeah it's kind of nice to know and um, I will keep that in mind but I do like the Ariana Grande perfumes in general I just think they're really nice. I actually had one more thing the Honey Pot Company this is their Calming Lavender Bath Bomb and I went through the three of them. These were nice but I feel like it didn't really do anything like I didn't really smell the lavender I mean, I'm sure it was, I don't know, somewhat beneficial to the bath, but I feel like I don't need this in my life. So it was nice, but I want to try different bath bombs out. But yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video. It was fun to go through and review some of these products and talk about it. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.